Experience Fergalus Dash 3 technology and watch our paver at work on a job site. A section on a country road, one kilometer long and four meters wide, with a turn lane after 750 meters. The job is to place binder cores eight centimeters thick. Have a seat. We'll show you just how easy it is to do quality work. You only have to push a few buttons, make a couple of swift moves, and our pavers are ready to go. A clear overview, a small crew, and no complicated procedures, even though sophisticated technologies are involved. As effective as possible, as comfortable as necessary. For Fergula's third generation of pavers, the paving crew's working area has again been optimized. One last adjustment before the paver starts up. Push one button and a few minutes later, the hydraulic and compacting systems have reached their operating temperatures. And then we're off. It all begins right here at the milled edge. To the left is an intact lane. To the right, a rainwater gutter that serves as a reference for the right-hand sensor for grade control. The milled surface forms the base course. Fast and direct at first, then slow and precise. The paver operator maneuvers the machine to the milled edge at the start of the job site. A press of a button and the three and a half ton screed is brought into position with millimeter accuracy. Everything in the right place. The console is simple to operate. The buttons and other elements clearly arranged for both the paver and screed operator. It couldn't be simpler or faster. Adjusting the pave width with a smart wheel. A small wheel with a big result. It quickly and precisely adjusts the screed width. And again, just one button is all it takes to position the screed's toe point ramps. A sensor for grade control needs to be easy to operate, sturdy, and quick to adjust. And that's exactly what Fergula offers. If the reference to be scanned changes, you simply adjust the sensor quickly, easily. And the same applies to the big multiplex ski. It is based on proven sonic technology. Three sensors for a reference, or put another way, the system detects extended surface irregularities and easily compensates for them. Just a few pushes of a button are required to adjust the sensors. We call it Niveltronic Plus. For you, it means easy grade and slope control. Faster, safer, more ergonomic. That describes the Dash 3 generation, and it applies to all aspects, including the adjustment of the side plates. While you had to turn a crank in the past, you can now make adjustments hydraulically right from the screed console. Working with perfect visibility and from virtually the same position, the screed operator can adjust the height of the auger, the crown, and even the sensor that controls the level of the mix in the auger tunnel. At this point, paving can begin. It couldn't be simpler. While crews used to have to shout and gesticulate, the Pave Dock Assistant signal light system today handles communication between the lorry driver and the paver operator. The light signals to the lorry driver when he should back up and dock onto the paver. As soon as the lorry triggers the Pave Dock sensor on the sprung push rollers, the light switches to red. The driver of the feed lorry shifts into neutral. The paver effortlessly pushes the lorry forward. No more jolts from the docking process. Perfect quality behind the screed. A smooth flow from the feed vehicle to the material hopper and on by conveyor to the auger tunnel where the mix is spread in front of the screed. The sonic sensor on the side is set to the desired filling level. The plus stands for more, the minus for less. We couldn't make it any easier. And that goes for setting the pave speed as well. A potentiometer, a value on the display, and paving can begin. Using the new Auto Set Plus function, the paver operator can save a current configuration and call it up again later on. As soon as the screed is floating, the tamper, 
pressure bar, conveyors, and augers start working automatically because they are linked to the joystick for traction. After a few minor corrections, the screed is perfectly set up. Once the feed lorry has been unloaded, the driver receives the signal to drive off. Switch the signal light again, and the next feed lorry driver can back up into position. If the paver has to be moved, like here prior to paving the turn lane, all you have to do is hit the Execute button to activate the Auto Set Plus repositioning function. Push just one button and the hydraulic hopper front, conveyors, deflectors in front of the crawler tracks, augers, and the screed move into transport position. The paver can now be safely repositioned on the job site. Pressing Execute again returns the paver to the last configuration used. Pave speed, compacting systems, grade, and slope control. Everything is just like it was before. We could go on forever. But every road eventually comes to an end, or a turn lane is completed. And when Fugula technology is involved, then it all gets done quickly reliably, and in very high quality. Our Dash 3 generation pavers are winners across the board.